Okay, continuing our topic about theorems about tangent lines and circles. So we have here three theorems about tangent lines. Okay, so we have here three theorems. Okay, so the first one, theorem one, if a line is a tangent to a circle, then the line is perpendicular to the radius. Uh, then the line is perpendicular to the radius drawn to the point of tangency. Okay, so if we have here a radius RP, then therefore, if we draw here a tangent line, therefore, RP is going to be perpendicular to the said tangent line. Okay, so if we have here a tangent line IO, therefore, RP is going to be perpendicular to IO. For a second one, if a line in the plane of a circle is perpendicular to the radius at its end point in the circle, then the line is tangent to the circle. So the statement, guys, is the converse. Okay, the converse of the statement of theorem 1. Okay, so it's kind of like the opposite of that one. So it says here that these two lines are are perpendicular. Therefore, uh, IO must be the tangent line to circle uh, to point A or to circle A. And then theorem 3. So the two segments tangent to a circle from a point outside of the circle are congruent. Okay, so if we have here an external external point O, therefore QO and LO are congruent to each other on circle G. Okay, and also we're going to introduce the first of the three circle power theorems. Okay, so there are essentially three of these, but uh, for our lesson, for our first, uh, for our third lesson here, we're just going to go with the first one. We're just going to discuss the first one, and then the other two we'll discuss in detail in our next lesson. So the the first one is the tangent secant power theorem. So the square of the measure of the tangent line in a circle is equal to the length of the outer segment. Okay, outer equal to the square of the tangent. Okay, tangent squared is equal to outer. Okay, multiplied by the sum of the inner and outer segments. So what does that mean? Okay, so if we have here IB, okay, so IB is the tangent line to this given circle, let's say circle O. So therefore, IB squared is going to be equal to CB. CB, okay, multiplied by the sum of GC and CB. The chord here, GC, plus the measurement of the chord of this line segment outside of the circle O. So that will be CB. Okay, so therefore IB squared is equal to CB multiplied to the quantity GC plus CB. Okay, later we're going to try to apply these theorems, the chord, the, the uh, tangent secant power theorem, and also the three tangent uh, theorems that we have here. Okay, so for this one, number uh, four. Okay, so Jenica wanted to try an experiment using her pen and an elastic band she picked up from the kitchen. So point V is the is the pen and T points T and R are tangent to point E. The center the center point. So points T, E, and R are nails where the elastic band is fitted. So given that the central angle is uh, it measures two uh, measures uh, angle T E R measures 128 degrees. We need to find the value of P. Okay. Okay. So going back to our theorems, if we have here a tangent line and a chord, okay, and I, I'm sorry, and the radius, and the radius and the tangent line intersect at each other, intersect to one another. So therefore, we will have here two right angles okay because uh, te is perpendicular to tv and er is perpendicular to rv so we have here 90 degrees and 90 degrees so uh, essentially you will have your kite kite tr te rv okay so we have your kite te rv to get the value of angle p okay so the total interior angle measurement of any quadrilateral and a kite is a quadrilateral is equal to 300 60 degrees. So this is going to be equal to the measurement of angle E plus the measurement of angle D plus the measurement of angle R and the measurement of angle V. So this is going to be equal to 360 degrees is equal to, okay, measure of angle is 128 plus the measurement of T and R are both 90 degrees and from here we can get the measurement of angle v or p degrees okay so this is going to be equal to 360 minus 128 minus 180 is equal to the measurement of angle v 
Okay, so using our calculator. Okay, so the value of angle V is equal to 52 degrees. And therefore, P is equal to 52. Okay, so there you go. So that's the value of R, uh, P here. Okay, so find the value P is equal to 52. Okay, next question. So Siegfried plans to create or construct a hybrid circle triangle cabinet. To do so, he has to merge a triangular cabinet with a circular cabinet. Given that line AM is tangent to the circular cabinet and then the measurement of angle R is equal to V plus 21 degrees and the measurement of angle M is equal to V degrees, what is the value of V, the measurement of angle R, and the measurement of angle M? So we can see here it's given that this line here, this tangent line here, AM, and this radius, okay, this radius here, let's say it's uh, OA, okay, so we, we know that this angle, okay, this angle is 90 degrees because OA is perpendicular to AM, and same goes with OR here, okay, if, if there's a tangent line there. But since there's no, there's no tangent line, so let's focus here on this one. So therefore, we'll have three angles here that we can solve the value for, okay? We can solve for the value of V using the um, measurement, the interior angle measurement of a triangle, which is 180 degrees. So that's going to give you the measurement of angle R, plus the measurement of angle A, plus the measurement of angle M. And we know that the measurement of angle R is equal to V plus 21, and the measure of angle A is 90, and the measure of, measurement of angle M is equal to V. So if we add the two Vs that we have here, 180 is going to be equal to 2V plus okay, 111. Okay, so we have here 2V is equal to 111. So let's just check. Okay, so to get the value of V, we have to transpose. We have to use the addition property of equality. So 180, the inverse of the addition property of equality. So we have here 69 is equal to 2V. And if we divide both sides by 2, therefore V is equal to 69 over 2 or simply 34.5. Okay. So 34.5 degrees. And from here, guys, we can now solve for the value of angle R and angle M. So angle uh, angle M, the measurement of angle M is essentially going to be equal to 34.5 degrees. And the measurement of angle R is going to be 34.5 plus 21. Okay, 34.5 plus 21, so that's going to give us 55.5. Okay, 55.5 degrees. And then we have here, the measurement of angle A is going to be equal to 90 degrees. So we have here the values of our three angles. Measurement of angle M is 34.5 degrees. Measurement of angle R is 55.5 degrees. And measurement of angle A is equal to 90 degrees. Okay, next question. So Yesha works at ISS Haribon, the space station pioneered by Philippine scientists, and she is currently uh, controlling the direction of a space probe. So given that the space probe is point D, and point E is the center of the circle of uh, ISS Haribon, so find the distance between the space probe and the International Space Station given that points Y and C are tangent to the diameter of circle E and its diameter is 3,900 miles. Okay, again guys, we have here, okay, we're going to form here uh, since we have here a tangent line, point Y, okay, so YD, this tangent line YD is perpendicular to this radius that we have here, YE. And also, it goes the same for EC here. So we have here 90 degrees. So therefore, we will have formed a right triangle. Okay, so we have here a right triangle. Okay, so this is going to be the hypotenuse. ED is going to be the hypotenuse because 90 degrees, okay, the opposite of the hypotenuse is always the biggest angle, which is 90 degrees. Okay, so to solve for the value of ED, that's what we want because D is the space probe and E is the center of ISS Haribon. Okay, on its orbit. Okay, so there you go. So to solve for the value of ED, we can use the Pythagorean theorem. Okay, so we can construct the right triangle here at a, more, at a much more uh, clear angle. So this is going to be 14,000 miles. 
<clears throat> this is going to be 3,900 miles. And we need to solve for this one, the hypotenuse, which is ED. Okay, so EDY. So to solve for ED, we can use again the Pythagorean theorem. So this is going to be ED squared is equal to EY squared plus YD squared. And we know that uh, we don't know the value of ED. Okay, so EY is equal to 4, 14,000 squared plus 3,900 squared. And what's 14,000? Okay, 14,000 squared plus 3,900 squared. So that's going to give us a very big number. Uh, I think this is, hmm, okay, this is 211,210,000. And if we, take, if we take the square root of that number, so ED is going to be equal to, okay, the square root of these sums, it's going to be equal to 14,533.07 miles. Okay, so there you go. So this is the exact value or the approximate value of ED. It's equal to 14,533.07 miles. Okay? Okay, for the sixth worth problem, we have here another tangent. <clears throat> we have here a new one. Okay, so this is a tangent chord power theorem problem. Okay, so James Vincent is planning to create a tea shop near his house. The said tea shop is in the shape of a cup of a tea with a handle. So from the top view, okay, the, the tea shop is shown on the image on the right. <clears throat> Given that the dimensions of the tangent and the secant line, okay, so this should be tangent secant, I'm sorry, tangent secant power view. So find the value of t and the length of the tangent line in meters. So we want to find the value of t, this one, and the length of sp. <clears throat> okay. So, to recall, what's the formula for finding D? What's the general formula for finding D? Uh, uh, or the general formula for the tangent secant power theorem. So, that's going to be tangent squared. Okay, so tangent squared is going to be equal to the outer. Okay, the outer multiplied by the sum of the inner segment plus the outer segment. So tangent here, the tangent here is going to be sp, and it's measured by t plus 11 meters. Okay, so t plus 11 squared is going to be equal to the outer, which is 16, multiplied by the inner, which is 21 plus t plus the outer, which is 16. Okay, so to simplify this one, this is going to give us t squared plus 22t plus 121. <clears throat> is equal to 16 multiplied by 21 plus 16. Okay, so 21 plus 16 is equal to 37 plus t. Okay, next we just have to distribute the value of 16 here, which is uh, <clears throat> uh, the, the value of 16 to 37 and t. So 16 times 37, so that's going to be equal to 592 plus 16t is equal to t squared plus 22t plus 121. And for the next step, we have to transpose, okay, and also this one because we're going to try to uh, equate, okay, our quadratic equation here to zero. Okay, so this is going to be equal to t squared plus 22t minus 16t plus 121 minus 592 is equal to zero. And 22 minus 16 is e simply equal to 6. So t squared plus 60. And then 121. 121 minus 592. So that's going to give us negative. Okay, negative 471 is equal to 0. And using our calculator, we can solve for the value of t. Okay, so we can solve it here. So the coefficient is 1 and then 6, and then negative 471. And that's going to give us two values. The first one, okay, is negative 3, okay, plus 4 square root of 30, and the second one is minus. Okay, so if we change that to decimal form, this is going to be 18.90, and the other one is going to be negative, okay, the other one is going to be negative 20, negative 24. 91. 
Okay, so 91. Okay, so since we cannot have a negative value for t, therefore the value of t is equal to 18.91.